Hello, we're going to talk about best practices for creating your uEdit video using the FPOS uEdit module. Now, we're not going to talk about the physical how to edit. Please refer to the introduction tutorial on how to use the uEdit module to get these details. Now, in creating your uEdit video, the first frame should be a title frame using the player's name, the year of graduation, position, uh, the player's travel team, and an email address to contact you. While editing your video, a common question is how much editing is too much? Remember, you want to keep as much continuous footage as possible, but you do want to edit out any mistakes. So we want to try to avoid uh, things like a swing, then a cut, a swing, then a cut. You want to have several swings strung together with no cuts in them. Same thing with fielding plays. You want to try to avoid continuously cutting after each ground ball or fly ball, but you definitely do want to edit out any mistakes. Remember, when editing, you're never deleting the original file. So if after you've edited a video and you decide later on you want to come back and do it a different way, that source clip is still there. So don't worry about making any mistakes because you can always come back and re-edit the original footage. Another editing tip, if you've done more than one event with FPOS, you will have multiple clips in your gallery. My suggestion is to take the best video from all of your events and create one great video. So don't be afraid to take the fielding from one and the hitting from another and create one singular video. Because remember, this is a marketing campaign. You want to create the best video possible with the video that you, clips that you have. Another common question we get is, should we put music behind our action or we, should we use the ambient sound? I always say, take a look at the sound that is there. If it's distracting, if there's background noise, if there's people yelling in the background, then it's probably better to mute that clip and place music there so it's not just dead air. Dead air is disconcerting. So take a look at what audio is there. If it's just ball hitting bat, that's a great audio to keep. But if you have distracting background sounds, it's definitely better to mute the clip and use the music that's included in the uEdit module to put in the background so it's not just dead air. In addition to the clips of your skills from the FPOS recruiting camp, it's a great idea to add game clips to your video. At the end of your video, conclude with the same title frame that you used at the beginning to remind the college coach about who you are and about your information and how to get in touch with you. If you have any questions, email support at fastpitchonlineshowcase.com and we'll be happy to help you with your uEdit video.